Hello everyone. Um, today with this video I wanted to uh, show how to set up the uh, motors for the extruders. Uh, last time I set up the motors for the axis. Uh, I have an X, two for Y's and one Z axis. And today I'm going to show uh, the parameters to be used for extruders for um, for clipper of course uh, for the Manta M8P that I'm using uh, so here are a section of the extruder I have two extruder dual extruder 3D printer um, so the main the main uh, um, parameters uh, now are uh, the pins to set up the pins that are uh, mapped to the board so on the manual uh, let me go back up there is the uh, there it is okay uh, let me increase the size so is visible let me move up here okay and up just a bit okay okay so for the motors i'm using here on the right side here i'm using m1 2 3 4 for the axis so x y1 y y1 and z and then m5 and m6 for extruder zero and extruder one or one or two whatever so if i go back to the um to the configuration the manta 8p configuration file i see that the step pin is pc9 for extruder zero direction pin in PC8, enable pin is PD1, and then the heater. So let's let's do this three for first. PC9, PC8, and PD1. So if I go here to M6, I get direction is PD, PA1, the step, no, okay, so the direction is PA14, the step is PA10 so here I have to correct this oh there okay so there uh, I switched uh, okay let me let me fix this okay so step pin is PC uh, step pin is PC9 okay here uh, let me get this oh come on here pc9 okay step so step is pc9 direction pin so it's this guy it's pc8 okay Okay, PC8. Now enable pin. Go here. Enable pin is PD. PD1. Uh, enable pin PD1. Okay. So this other section are for the uh, the heaters uh, and the sensor pin. So the heater is basically what is going to heat the resistance resistance on your heater block in my case i don't have a resistance but i will have a induction heating uh, system uh, but i don't care this is just the pin that enables to tell that the board uses to tell to uh, make current go through and heating the thermistor in that case you know not the thermistor the resistance so in my case i will have a 
to this pin I will connect a, a MOSFET and the MOSFET will switch and do uh, uh, will enable the uh, induction uh, uh, part to heat the heating block so the heater pin is PE3 so if you go uh, let me go up okay so down here uh, on the left bottom let me move a bit so I have here these are the connection for the heating uh, resistors so I have this the heating uh, zero with PE3 is the pin. So if we go back here, it's PE3. Now the sensor pin is actually instead is the thermistor. In my case, I'm going to use a 100k thermistor. The generic is called generic 3950, uh, at least at the moment. So the sensor pin is PA1, okay? So it's the thermistor pin. And it's this guy up here. So let me go back, PA1, and it's up here. It's the thermistor uh, sensor pin, PA1, which is this guy here. I should have changed the color, but it's this guy here, okay? Let me move this guy. Okay? So up here. Uh, and that's it for the pins. Then I have to, you know, I have to play with the micro steps, of course. Again, I'm using uh, 5160 Pro uh, drivers, and I have to. Of course, set the micro steps and this rotation uh, parameters. Nozzle size I will be used between 1 and 1.5, so this needs to be set when I decided which, which nozzle is going to be better. Uh, filament diameter. Now, I don't have filament, but I'm using pellet. So, my guess, I can put the size of the pellet, maybe. So for now, I'll set it to two millimeter. Probably it's going to be uh, bigger, but we'll see. Pressure advance, I'm going to leave it for now at this number uh, because I'm going to do another video with that. And then the control for the uh, PID for the temperature is terraces. So uh, even this will be changed when I test the thermistor and uh, there is a, a, a sequence of um, uh, steps to do, do that. I'll be doing a video on that too. And then I'll set the minimum temperature at zero so I can test without the need uh, to heat the heating, uh, the heating block. And then the max temperature for now 270. Um, since I'm 3D printing, Carbon fiber that is at 250 max. Uh, maybe this one will stay, or maybe going to 280. And this, the exterior acceleration, yeah, that this one will change too because I will do some test calibration for uh, how fast the exterior needs to be, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. So this is it for extruder one. Uh, extruder two is basically the same. The only th difference is are the pins here and the sensor pin, a hidden pin. So if I go back here, um, let me move this guy here uh, up. So for M6, so the direction is P4, PA14. So direction. Wait a second, go back, let me say. PA14, direction, okay. And here I have PA15, so this should be 14. Okay. The step pin is PA10. I have here PA10, okay. The enable pin 
uh, is PA15 enable pin is PA15 and it's okay now the heater pin again down here is up here PB5 PB5 okay at the sensor pin for the thermistor is PA2 so that here is PA2 so it's this guy here okay so the pins are okay and again all these parameters need to be set when I have a definite uh, uh, numbers 270 again uh, so actually this is the extruder will be extruding uh, uh, carbon fiber and the extruder zero the first extruder will uh, extrude the, the support material and I think that's the temperature is 215 maybe something like that um, that's it so I just wanted to share uh, how to set this uh, parameters in clipper configuration 5 for the Manta M8P uh, or if someone is uh, interested I'm, I'm editing this configuration file on my computer not on the CB1 and I'm using uh, VS code to do the editing and then I can do uh, an FTP to bring this file this change file to the CB1 uh, so it's much simpler to do it on the uh, on the computer what else um, next videos I'll be showing how to set up the parameters for the TMC 513 Pro drivers and um, I'll do another video next time okay thank you very much uh, please uh, leave a like uh, share the video and subscribe to the channel uh, and I'll talk you uh, next time next video bye bye thanks